there that day and I saw her cry. After Mama Teddy Bear said, 10-4 and goodbye. She turned off the old CB and just looked at me. And her heart overflowed and her tears ran free. And the gratitude shone in her face like the sun for all the things those big tough truckers had done. A handful of change and a few dollar bills, but most of all, a little crippled boy's dream fulfilled. I guess I was Mama Teddy Bear's best friend. I lived next door to her and little Teddy Bear since I don't know when. And that's why now, before my memory grows old, the rest of this story just has to be told. I'd come over and sit with Teddy Bear while his mama was away and play little games to help him pass the day. In the afternoons, he'd wheel that chair over by the radio and he'd go on the air. And one by one, he'd break them all. I never knew a trucker not to answer his call. He'd just grin and ask me not to tell his mum. But I was pretty sure she knew what was going on. But time has a way of taking its toll. And much too fast, Mama Teddy Bear was grown old. I watched as the silver touched her hair. And her one aim in life was Teddy Bear. And then I saw another change take place. Little Teddy Bear was slowly losing the grace. I knew it, and his mama knew it too, and there was nothing in this whole world either one of us could do. He talked less often on the old CV, there were times when he'd hardly talk with me. He took to sitting in the window and watching the road, and the big 18-wheelers rolling by with their load. Finally, he was too weak to get out of bed, and one day he looked at me and said, Would you turn on the radio and...